We started off the day in Connecticut and headed to New York City. We made it! If you know me, you know I can't start the day without a matcha. So we had to make a pit stop. On with the day. Paul is going to spend the day at the office. The company he works for is actually based in New York City. And I was going to just roam around, see a couple of friends, and do some shopping before the main event of Paul McCartney concert later in the evening. Hello, hello. I had some time to kill, so I went shopping. Got some stuff at Sephora. And I bought my dad a Father's Day present at Theragun. I think he's really gonna like it. Um, Right now, I'm heading to check into the hotel, drop the bags off, and then after that, I'm gonna meet my friends Jesse and Sarah for lunch. Now, let's go to Soho. Meet Jesse and Sarah. After lunch, I decided to wander around and head up to my old stomping grounds of Greenwich Village and Washington Square Park. Hello, it's me again. I finished lunch with my friends Sarah and Jesse. It was so nice to see them again and chat and catch up. Um, so I've just been walking around since then. And it just reminded me how anxiety inducing this city is for me. I used to live here um, for two years doing my master's degree. Just like being here just makes me feel super anxious. So I've come to a park, I'm in Union Square. I tried to find a place where I'm alone, but it's pretty much impossible in this city. So I'm just here enjoying some greenery. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be heading back to the hotel just because I know it's the middle of the afternoon, but I have a really busy evening tonight seeing Paul McCartney and I just wanna be well rested and be able to take it all in. So I'm just gonna go up there, maybe have a little nap and chill out for a bit. We're ready. This is the outfit. I'm just wearing the same thing. Paul changed his shirt. Oh, sorry, I stepped on your foot. And oh, I have to show you guys the lanyards. Oh, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Check this out. Paul McCartney got back VIP two. We're not important enough to be in VIP one, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's, so great. it's great, yeah. Probably still gonna be the best night of our lives anyways. So I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This is so cool. All right, guys, we're on our way. Um, we're going to get a bus. A bus is bringing us to the venue, which is in New Jersey. Thank God, because I don't want to drive there or take the transport there. Drive there, Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to meet Paul's colleagues. I've never met any of them, so this is going to be quite the evening. <laughs> We got to our seats and started spotting celebrities left and right. Here's random footage of Andy Cohen that I managed to get. And then came the man himself. 
He played loads of Beatles classics, as well as some old and newer solo material. Okay, girls, let's have a Beatles scream. Throughout the entire show, the energy was incredible. It really felt like 60,000 people were coming together just to have the time of their lives. The visuals were stunning and really diverse, with some old Beatles footage thrown in here and there, and the pyrotechnics came on right as it started to rain. His band was awesome and very playful. Here's a clip of his drummer having a great time. <laughs> There were also some very special guests that joined Paul on stage, including the boss. Then you're going to come and sing with us, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Springsteen! <laughs> But the most special part by far was getting to celebrate Paul's 80th birthday with him. Yeah, you're right. I've got a birthday coming up. And I'm not trying to ignore it, but... You guys ready? Happy birthday. We'll see you next time. Concert. We're in the hotel room now. You just some hello, guys. <laughs> um, wow. All I can say is wow. That was such an experience, an incredible experience. I'm so grateful um, for Paul for making me his plus one. And yeah, hopefully there'll be many more Paul McCartney tours and you guys can all go see him live in concert because it's just unreal. Anyways, we're gonna go to bed soon after we finish our food and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello! Good morning, it's the next day. Oh, we're just still reliving everything. The fact that we saw Paul McCartney and Bruce Springsteen and Bon Jovi and there's so many other celebrities in our midst too. I was just starstruck and felt like I was living on a cloud the entire night. Right now, we're just walking to a secret burger joint um, to meet one of my friends from university, Mathieu. And after that, we're going to be going back to Connecticut. Bought a cheap car and got down on one knee. Picked up a guitar, I started rhyming. charts when I, when I get my time in. We left New York City with our windows down. We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud. I will stand on your border and I'll wait for the sound. Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down. That's it for a time in New York City. Thank you so much for watching. We left New York City with our windows down We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud